No, this is not the Trail Traveler channel. This is Filmmaker Central. But I'm gonna show you today how to do animation along a path. So stay right there. We'll be right back. I'm gonna start in Photoshop just for uh, the hell of it. And I'm gonna start with an image that's 1920 by 1080. So this will be a 1080p image, select all, edit, fill, fill it with black. All right, so far so good. And then I think I'm gonna take my brush tool and mm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So take it up to like 20. And that's kind of fuzzy, I don't like that. I wanna go with more of a hard round. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. So click, shift, click. And we have our mountain range. Awesome. I'm gonna export that as a JPEG and I'll put it in here as Mountains, oh, I guess I already have a file name that, but that's all right. Okay, and we can get rid of Photoshop. And I'm gonna be in DaVinci Resolve, I'm on my media page, and you can see I already have this uh, line drawing I found as a Jeep, and it's pretty low resolution, but when we scale it down, it's not gonna make a difference. And over here in my folder, here's my mountains, so I'm gonna drag that in. And I'm gonna go over to my edit page. I'm on effects, fusion composition. I'll drop that in here. And then we're gonna to go to the fusion page. Okay, I've got my media out. I'm gonna bring in my mountains, hit F2 to rename it to mountains. That's probably a good name. And I'll connect that to my media out. So we can see we have our little mountains here. Then I'm going to drag my Jeep image. I'll put that on top because it's on top, I guess. And we'll call this Jeep. And I'm going to connect these two outputs and it gives me a merge node. Pretty simple so far. Okay. Nothing too complicated at all. And now we can position our Jeep anywhere we want it. And I want to make sure that my playhead here is at the beginning. If I start in the middle somewhere, it's not gonna be a happy day. And my Jeep is in my foreground. So that's the important thing. Otherwise it would not be there because it would be behind this image. Okay, so now what I can do is I can animate this top level here using like the center commands, center X and Y. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna rotate it first so it looks like it's going up this hill and we'll move it down. So you can see we're not too far off from kind of what we want and I'm going to back this thing right off the screen there. Now I want to make sure that I click the, the diamond here for angle and center. This is going to give me my first keyframe. Right? Now I've got one, two, three, and four places over here where I need to, well, I have this one where we're gonna change direction. We're gonna change a second direction, a third direction, and then exit off screen. So I kinda wanna divide that up a little bit and I want my uh, the middle of my animation to probably be pretty close to the middle here. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna bring it over here and rotate it. And I'm just gonna put that guy right in position. Now, this is only one way of kind of attacking this problem. You can keyframe it as any way you want. You can start at the beginning and work your way around. I kind of like finding key spots and then working you know, like slice it in half and then slice it in half. So it's just kind of the way I learned. So that's pretty much the way I do it. And 
Now I'm going to kind of back off a little bit here. This is going to give me this position. And then I'm going to back off a little bit more and adjust my angle and pull it up a little bit. Now, let's see what we've got. Actually, not too bad right out of the gate. Okay, so now from here, I need to kind of go just a little bit to my next position, which is going to be up the hill. And again, I, I just kind of keep checking things to make sure things don't really blow up on me. Okay, go to where I want my next position here. We're not going to do a wheelie. We're just going to get it strained out. All right, and then uh, move towards the end. Do, 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 do right off screen. All right, let's take a look at what we've got going here. Ha, <laughs> not too bad at all. Definitely not bad for just a first fast attempt. That worked really, really smooth. Now, can we clean this up a little bit? Sure. Let's get back to our beginning. We'll go to our spline tool. I'm going to open this up here so we can see it. There's my merge. And maybe I just want to, uh, I've got my angle here and um, the direction that it's going. These are the different key point or keyframes that are in here. So I'm going to kind of narrow this up so we can see it. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to come over to this first tool that says smooth. Should say smooth. There we go. It says smooth. All right. Now let's see what we've got. And there we have it. Pretty simple way of animating along a path. Not too difficult. And of course, all these keyframes are here, so I can adjust them. I can uh, pretty much do whatever I want. See, it kind of bottoms out right there. Well, let's just lift it up a little bit. All right. And then we can just kind of go back. Okay. We're kind of bouncing off there. We'll just bring it in. Okay. That one's a little off. And we'll keep backing up. Okay, I don't like the angle there. And we can bring it up. So definitely the ability to fine tune this as much as you want and that caused this to come down a little bit. All right, I think this is going to be just about perfect. Not bad at all. So pretty simple and not too difficult here. Uh, it may look complicated right at the beginning, but when you really see just how easy it is, I think uh, you'll find that you can really use this for a, a lot of different types of things. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, oh, well, let's add the last final step because that's what I had in the opening there. And I'm just going to add a text plus layer. And this was for the YouTube channel Trail Traveler. And the font was uh, Secret Agent, if I remember right. Oh, I don't know if I have it on here. I did that on my other machine. So let's just use impact. And 
I'm going to take the output from the text to the output of the merge, giving me yet another merge. I can put that into position here and I'll put a little space in it for this guy and we'll increase the size just like that. Pretty happy so far. And we'll go to, oh, maybe about 20 frames in and I'm gonna set my opacity to one. I'll go to the beginning. I'll crank the opacity down. I'll go to the end here as it's going off. Give me an, another keyframe here on the opacity. Go to the end and crank the opacity down. So let's see what we've got. Fades in, keep goes by, text fades out. Pretty simple. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a fun little tutorial. If you want to actually follow along, you can get the Definitive Guide to DaVinci Resolve 15 free as a PDF from Blackmagic's website. There'll be a link in the description below, or you can get the hard copy on Amazon also, link in this description below, so you can find those. And uh, it, they do it with an airplane along a map. I thought this would be a little bit different, something uh, kind of original anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope that is going to help some of you with some animation techniques. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, check that bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video, which is several times a week. Really appreciate all you guys. Thanks to the winners of the uh, 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Couldn't have done it without, well, you guys, 10,000 of you anyway. So thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Keep watching for lots of new things to come, more product reviews, more tutorials, all kinds of cool stuff here at Filmmaker Central. And don't forget, join the Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Filmmaker Central. And if you really want, people have been asking, there is a Patreon link down below so you can uh, help me out with the channel. Really appreciate all the support from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.